Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're still going. I mean, oh, I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar, but it was dark in that room, Joe dark, <laughs> and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. You mean you were the one who wiped away the message in blood? I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Very well, the defense may now begin cross-examination. Also, we have the uh, cloth that has Emma's prints on it. Oh, yeah. Trial Ladder 2. Final day. Goddamn. Alright. So, the jar was already broken. It's a miracle that thing hadn't broken earlier. It certainly looks as feeble as the defense's case. Hey! But not as feeble as the judge's judgment. You were an ace detective who never missed detail. Do you really expect us to believe? Did you investigate what was written on the jar of pieces? Normally I would have. It was so but dark. It was dark in the room. I didn't have time to check it out. So, you didn't know your sister's name was written on the jar? No. If I had known, I would have gathered all pieces and ground them to dust. Well, that helps my case. Lana, you do that for me? It seems you two might make up yet. Anyway, I just had enough time to move the body as it was. If someone happened upon the scene, you'd lose your chance to erase the evidence. You must have been in a hurry. I was. I knew I had to destroy the evidence before anyone came. This is rather shocking. I'm afraid this action of yours reveals what really happened. Look, what do you mean? If you really thought Dark killed Prosecutor Marshall, you wouldn't have wiped away the blood. What else could I have done in that situation? Lana... I only had a few moments. There wasn't enough time for me to do anything else but gather up the pieces. The fragments are large, so I'm sure I got them all. But how could you see with the power out? It should have been pitch black in that office. A detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. Even now, I always carry a pocket light and a camera with me. Even I carry a bottle of emergency luminol wherever I go. That... got... Mm -mm. I never miss they anything. They are sisters. I got every last piece. Liar! So you illegally rearranged the crime scene? Yes. I don't have any excuse for my actions. I'm so sorry, Lana. I didn't know. I've treated you so badly all this time. It's not too late. There's still plenty of time to make up. After we've gotten to the bottom of this incident. No doubt, this day will leave a permanent stain on the history of the prosecutor's office. More contradictions have surfaced in here in testimony. Your sister's really putting up a fight. She must really care about you. Still, she's not doing this the right way. I think I finally figured out the contradictions in her testimony. There's one final possibility that might turn everything around. You want to clue me in, right? You should know, Jay. What, the handprint? I think so. Oh wait, no, we got the fragment in Damon Jant's office. Yeah, but hold up. What? Did you ever properly look at that book? Yeah. You can look at the book? Yeah. It's this. Oh. Okay. Yeah! Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? We found this final piece of this jar in Chief Jant's safe. In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it. She really didn't know. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... still blood on it. But the witness just testified. She gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. 
yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene! Chief Jant got there before you! But could the defendant have simply missed the piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. That may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Ha! Can you believe that? Everyone does make mistakes. The other day I accidentally put the in the rice I was making. <laughs> I, I was so mad at myself. I've... <sighs> Yeah, I remember once, like, heating up some leftover food and putting it into the fridge and sitting it down. <laughs> I was just sitting there like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that. There's no way a name could have just been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Jan at the time he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even he was there first, why would he break the jar? Because in Sayama. The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? Mm. No. Nah. No. Admit it, your best friend is an asshole and a murderer. Well, yes, yeah, so the first. I don't know about the second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. <laughs> Damon Jan arrived at the scene, crime scene prior to the defendant. He proceeded to break the jar and purposefully hid one of the broken pieces. Question What is this action called? Fabrication of evidence. Well, why would the Chief Chan do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she saw Jan's aid. Lending her, his sister's aid, Jan helped her sister create evidence that incriminated Dark. You added sister twice. That wasn't even in the yes. fucking sentence. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, man. Sparing Emma, and therein lies the reason. Sister. Oh. The reason being her sister. I the reason be why Miss Sky right became the Chief Jan's puppet. Uh, you go ahead and keep reading and just let me know when. I just gotta let the dog out real quick. No, I did it on my own. Next. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the Chief. Next. I. Next. I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. Line! No, he didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Line! <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Okay, I'm back. For now. Defense attorneys make up their most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul lies? Imagine that. C coming from my own client. Hmm, I guess you do see the type who likes to twist the truth. Hey! <laughs> what? Ah, wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Jan's trap! There's something wrong, Mr. Wright. Lana, maybe right after all. What do you mean, right? So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright? What? No! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Skye, please testify once more. But, if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie! But, I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Sky, if you will. I... I can't... There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there's a possibility that it will. If you tell the truth. So he fabricated it from the beginning, killed Neil, made it look like Emma killed him, 
and then set up Juana to be his puppet. Very well. I'll testify about what I really saw. Alright, the witness may testify once more for the final time. Alright. One I'm second. hungry. You go ahead and read again. I gotta make sure if the dog wants in. No, I just need to skip through because it's the actual crime scene stuff. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on the suit of armor sword. Next. Evelyn and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. Next. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. That's oh, why I erased you. all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gent help me move, remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent! Exactly. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on the armor's sword. You're the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. Because she has a camera with her at all times. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. What? I mean, the only thing she gave you was evidence law, wasn't it? And these. No, no, that was previously. Yeah, she gave me evidence law, that's all. Examine it, I guess? Or bring it up? Hmm. Alright, we, we have to, like, open the book and actually check it. I thought it might be needed. But I don't remember seeing a picture like that. Anna must have known. See, Mr. Wright? She really does have faith in you. A lying fool like you. <sighs> Alright. Very well, Mr. Wright, please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Oh, God. Pio! Pio! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Hey, there's a picture here! Like, did he only open it to the first few pages? I guess so. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. Because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I had arranged everything. <gasps> Mr. Wright! That piece cut from his vest. Could that be... Oh, yeah. Uh, the leather. The yeah. leather with her handprint. The cloth we found inside Chief Jan's safe. Hop up. Come on, Soraya. Hop up, big girl. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's white things in the air. <laughs> Come on, this is a handprint, up. isn't it? There you go. Good girl. Lay down, big girl. Love you. <laughs> that cloth. It had fingerprints on it. Is there fingerprints? Those must be. The real murderer. No. What? But those fingerprints... They're yours, Emma. Why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Hmm. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Oh boy, this ain't good. Actual crime. What? It's- oh, of course oh, it's Jan. he's back. Fuck you. Come now, Edgy. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. Chief Jan. Why, now do you want to make me out as a bad guy, too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined to testify. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. Uh, this must be that risk we were talking about earlier. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. Jeez. 
Jesus. It so kinda of looks right. like a. So what? You think I'm worried? Huh? Sorry to disappoint you, <laughs> but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean... You still have some conclusive evidence. <laughs> no, I don't. But someone does. Someone. So, what's your excuse, Rido? Ah. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over near Marshall, causing his near causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Is this true, Mr. Wright? If I show that piece of evidence now, save. Emma Shirley made out as a murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence presented now, or if you try to conceal anything, you'll be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? I, I don't think we should, honestly. Yes, Your Honor. I do have further evidence. No, right, the time's finally come to show it to them. Those prints have got to be in the Chiefs. Now then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Alright. It's a piece of leather cloth. Yes, most likely yeah. it was cut from the victim's chest. Uh, cut from the victim's vest, near his chest. What's this? There's a big handprint on it. Surely it must have been left on the cloth by... Whoever shoved the victim into the sword. What? Whose fingerprints are on this? <clears throat> I'm sure Rido has checked, haven't you? Ah. Well, whose are they? <sighs> They're Miss Skies. Miss Emma Skies. What? They're mine? So I really did do it. See? I told you it was conclusive. But this was found in your safe! That means it's possible you forged it! I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember any cloth in my safe. Do you really expect me to believe that? But! Give it up, Mr. Wright. It's over. Huh? You shouldn't have presented that. We're presenting that evidence. You tied Emma Sky to Neil Marshall's death. No! I told you we shouldn't have. That's why I saved it for it. It appears we have our killer. No! No, no! Everything hinged on that point. In the end, Lana. Oh, I skipped accidentally. Ah! Lana guilty, found guilty death! Oh, shame! The door's shut on us! Oh, wow! Okay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Good thing I didn't save after I clicked show evidence, huh? Yeah. Otherwise, we would have been fucking walked. Oh, mama, that would have sucked bad. I think we'd Your have Honor? to force... Ugh. I, w I would have to go through the game, play it all over again, and get to this point. Which I don't want to do. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! Chief Jan? You... You opened my safe. I know what was inside. Oh, what was That's in it? That's what we needed. The conclusive evidence! We needed him to admit that it was in his safe. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Red, why don't you show them? Ah, you're right. We need to make We him found admit. it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Jan? 
Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. God! Alright, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll continue this in the next one in this never-ending nightmare of a trial case. Yep. See you later. Real trial. Adios.